Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of A Story About My Uncle. We are going to go ahead and get right back into the game itself. Hey! Hi, welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't okay, seen him in a this. few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It okay. was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. I guess we just have to carry on up here. Anything down here? Nope. Okay. Got a little checkpoint. Alright, so I can go to two of these locations. There's a drop down over there. Was there something else? Alright, so there's very clearly a bunch of different platforms here. I guess we should just, you know, as if we were going up here. We have two directions to go in. I guess we'll start with this one. Okay, looks like I can actually look around. Okay, audio dialogue. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe... She meant it figuratively. Figure... Like, she didn't really mean it. Like, when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. Okay. Um, my guess is that this is like the Tron universe and everything is... The time is more spread out in this area. That's my guess, though. I guess it's a good indicator that there's something like, for you to find when your arm goes away, like an audio dialogue, or maybe a machine. <clears throat> An interactable, essentially. 
Alright, there's an object over there. I don't know how much of this is actually needing to be explored. Uh, I don't know if there's any point to it, that's what I'm saying. Guess we'll head over here. Alright, looks like we got a rock that'll carry us over there. But let's just sling on. Hmm. I don't know where exactly I want to go right now. I guess this is a little bit of an exploration episode. Now we're going back up to the top area that we were. Okay. I mean, it kind of looks like we have to go over there. So, we might as well. Is that really Fred? <clears throat> Much better. Okay. Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, looks like we got a rock that we can grab onto right here. Ooh, wow. I was like waiting and waiting and waiting for something to show up right there. That's our destination. Wow, that is a hard jump to get to. Alright. Looks like we have another area over there. Now, I did actually boost the brightness on the other episode, so if I need to do that again, that's completely fine. I was waiting and waiting. Alright. Looks like we're in a new area. A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel. Our. And we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Yay, three jumps. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Marlin, oh that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. Okay. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. Hey, there's titans we outside apologize. the village. You can't go out there. It is be. true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. I think she does. Behind she's us like is the power core. Trapped. Take it and go into the chasms. All right. Let's just Find go. Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Be safe. Okay. There we go. Now. Where to go? Oh, I can actually step in the water over here. There's a bunch of tadpoles, okay. I mean, I don't know if I have to now, like, leave this area. 
I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Oh, okay, I see now. Let's go on ahead and... I don't know how much of a boost jump we actually need, but let's just go ahead and do it. Okay. No problem there. Let's, we got our three jumps now. Jesus, okay. Let's go back and make sure there's nothing that we missed. No, things look good here. Oh my god, that was like really pro. Okay. I thought I saw like a green flash of light over there or something. I think I, I don't think I missed one of those uh, recorders. Kind of funny, right? As I mentioned, a recorder one shows up. Okay, so we got three rings that we have to pass through. I feel like we should skip the first one, although I will use it as a backup if I need it. close jumps. Alright, I can hear a machine again, I think. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oh my god, they really love pushing these close. Okay. How about we just live here? This is like quite nice. Okay. It's like a genius chair repl replacement right there, man. All right. Sorry about wandering around, guys. I don't want to waste your time. I just don't want to miss anything. Alright, looks like we have to go this way. Is there going to be some form of rock that picks us up? I got a feeling that we're going to have to boost jump or boost leap over there and get to it. too close. Nope, not gonna let me. Alright. So we actually can boost leap over to that. From what I actually see, uh, there's another mode of this game called uh, Time Trial. So if it's one of those things where we're just going through the story but we're limited on time as if we're being chased by something, I don't know how I think what I think about that. Um, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of fun to do that. It'd definitely make things a little bit more invigorating. But I enjoy the peacefulness of this game at the same time. 
Oh man, if only I just got enough of a foothold on that ledge. If I ever do get to a point where a jump takes me more than three tries, I may do a form of a cut. Just to make this a little bit more enjoyable for you guys, the viewers. There we go. Okay, third time is a charm. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms 